Hi, New Hope Worship Team. It's me. And I would like to invite you to participate in our Easter service with a virtual choir. I don't know if you've seen some of that going on online, um, but musicians participating on their own at home on one song. And we're going to give that a try. So the song is Christ is Risen. It's an old song we've done at New Hope a lot. Hopefully you, most of you already kind of know it. And, um, but um, it will be something of a technical challenge to make it happen. So I want to go through the steps right here. Everything that you're needing to do. So first thing you need, all right? You need two devices. In this, in my case, I'm going to be using my, my laptop and my phone. Um, the phone is what I'm going to use to record myself singing the song. All right. Um, uh oh. You see the earbuds anywhere? Yeah. Look there. at that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, new old hang on. Um, and you're going to need yourself a set of earbuds. All right. So to get started, what I'm going to do, if you want to participate, is I have created a, a Google folder that I can share with you um, on Google Drive. Um, that's going to be kind of a technological requirement. Rick Gleason has volunteered to help people get set up with Google Drive if that's confusing to you or you don't know how to do it. Very simply, it's a cloud-based storage, like Dropbox, for, for sake. So I have invited myself through New Hope's email. I've invited myself to participate in the choir. So Caleb, if you can come over here and see at the top here, Michael Glenn has invited you to view Easter 20 materials. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you get an email that looks like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this thing. And it's going to take me to this folder. Now you can see in here, this is all the materials that we need to participate. All right. I've made charts for soprano altos, basses, and tenors. There's also a full SATB chart right here. So I'm going to demonstrate using the tenor part. Now the first thing I'm going to do, though, is there's also recordings you can see. You can see a tenor, soprano, full mix, bass, and alto. I'm going to download the full mix. All right, so I'm going to select on this. I go up here, there's dots. I click download. It starts downloading to my computer after it scans for viruses. I'm also going to download the tenor part. Go up here again. I have tenor selected. Download that. All right, now, if you have a Mac, your computer's going to do what mine's about to do, which is it automatically opens up in iTunes. Um, that's fine. That may not happen for you, depending on your computer and how it works, okay? So there it is. Those are my two files. Uh, if you don't have a Mac, I'm going to go ahead and close this out, because that may not happen for you. I'm just going to go ahead and go to my Downloads folder. And there they are. I've got, uh, ignore everything else down here, whatever, but I got the full mix and I got the tenor. And actually, let me go back to my drive. I'm also gonna download the tenor chart. So that goes also to my downloads folder. Oh, it opened it right up for me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and print my music, which I already did in advance. So I printed my, my tenor chart right here. All right. I've got both of my audio files. I can put that away now. So there in my download folder now I have what I need. I have my full mix, a tenor, and the, the music, all right? Okay, now back to me, Caleb. So here's the thing. In order to make this work, we have to sync the audio and the video. So when you hear on the recordings, you're gonna hear me talking cues about how I need you to clap at the beginning and the end of your vocal performance, all right? Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. The first thing I would highly recommend is just go ahead and listen to this recording. I'll skip it for a little bit. You can hear the click. That's the full mix. It's all four parts. Katie Harding singing soprano alto, me singing tenor bass. It's in there. Now, when I'm going to go to the tenor file, you'll notice that the tenor part is much louder in there. The other parts are there, but the tenor is on top. So, um, you've got to be able to cue this up. This is how it's going to work. I'm kind of getting excited, Caleb. <laughs> Caleb, how are you doing? Good. Caleb's hanging in there. All right, now, let's pretend I've listened to the music, I've printed the music, I've rehearsed along the recording, rehearse again and again. Here's the thing, too, New Hope uh, worship team. You're going to have to record this in one shot. Um, I really don't want to do that to Derek. Give him a, you know, he's already going to have to be dealing with a lot of video files as it is. I'm going to ask you to practice, get comfortable with your part, and then do the recording. 
All right. So I'm going to skip through that process. I'm going to skip through the process of me sitting here, going along to my tenor part, practicing it, singing along, getting ready with it. All right. So now I'm ready to record. This is how it's going to go down. All right. I'm going to open my tenor file on my computer because I'm going to use my phone to record my singing. So I open up this file. I'm going to open up a QuickTime just to make life easy on me. Now, here's the kicker. On the device that you're using to play the track, you can't have it just playing out into the room as you record singing. That kind of defeats the purpose because then your phone will pick up the sound coming out of here with the click and all that stuff. You don't want that. So I am going to go ahead and put my headphone jack into there. Now I'm going to play this track. Make sure I got a nice volume that I'm comfortable with. Maybe a little louder. A little louder yet. All right, so now I can hear the track, but you can't because I'm hearing it in here. Get it? Now, here's the fun part. Son, could you come over here? The second factor to this is how to record yourself. Um, you know, scoot over here. So I've done a little experimenting, and this is what I've decided works best for me, is that I'm going to stand uh, about right here, and I'm going to put my phone on video. I'm putting my phone right here. I'm flipping the camera around, and I'm going to stand about right here. And we want the videos in this portrait mode and not in landscape. And so, uh, sorry, not Derek, you're Caleb. Go over here and take a look. So that's what it looks like. You can see about the frame. There's nice lighting um, about this far away. Caleb, go ahead and, and back up so they can get a sense of what this goes like. A little awkward for me, admittedly, because I got this banquette. Um, but you're going to have to figure something out where you get a, a decent shot of yourself. Got my head, my earbuds. I'm going to actually have to move my computer a little closer here because it's not going to reach. Put it in front of me. Now, the last thing. All right, so I got my earbuds in. I'm ready to record. I've got my music. I'm sitting here to go. Um, I'm ready to jam. Now, you're going to leave your earbuds in. But for now, as an example to you, I'm going to pull my earbuds out of my computer so you can hear what I will be hearing. So, again, you're going to leave these in, but I'm not for now. All right. You will hear on these audio tracks a cue to clap. You're going to hear one two, ready, clap. You're going to clap four times as you're videotaping yourself. You can clap at the beginning and the end. This is key because all these different devices won't exactly, the timing doesn't always work out. All right. So we're going to have to manipulate and stretch the time of some of these videos in order to make it work. And by clapping into your camera as you're about to record, that will make things easier for Derek and I as we put this all together. And I know I'm going fast, but you can go back and watch again. All right, so here is the New Hope Christ is Risen Easter 20 tenor track. So I got my earbuds in, okay? I'm not going to plug them in, though, so you can hear it, what, what's coming out of here. I can demonstrate. I got my shot. It's looking good. I got my head in the middle of it. Um, I got good lighting, so I'm going to hit record here first. I'm recording. Got my um, tenor music here, five pages. I got my track and I'm ready to go. All right, so there's the click. Can you hear me count? One. The first thing two, you're gonna do is clap. Listen. One, two, ready, clap. One, two, three, four. Okay, right. get ready for the count in to the song. One, now the song counts two, in. One, two, ready. That's the two clap. bars, it starts here. You can see the piano line. Now, my earbuds will be plugged in, but I want you to hear. And you hear my scratch vocals start to sing the lead. Yeah, it's not very good, but it's a, a demo, okay, everybody? Caleb's laughing right now, sorry. And you're gonna hear the sopranos come in here. That may be, that may be the altos. Okay, my first note that comes in is on the chorus, the tenor part. So right now it's just melody and altos, I believe. All right, here I'm coming right here, ready? So I'm getting ready to sing. Christ is risen from the dead. 
Except I screwed up. I sang the wrong part. Christ, Christ of the Christ is risen. Did I sing the right part? I don't even know. So now I screwed up. I got to go back and start all over again. That was awesome. But that's how you do it. And then at the end of the track, you'll finish your singing. And then you're here again at the end of the track. We're going to clap one more time. Ready? One. At the end of the song. Ready? You clap again into your, as you're videoing. All right, now, then you're going to take your video that you made right here, and you're going to put it into Google Drive, and that I'm going to leave for some other time, all right? Um, you, what you do is you go on your phone. I have my Google Drive app right here. I'm gonna, anyway, uh, you putting a, a file into Google Drive is something you can find out somewhere else. All right, New Hope Church, I know this has been long. I hope you can make this happen and get a lot of responses. Uh, if you have any technical questions, let me know. I'll try and help you out the best I can. Thanks.